I did it. I finally did it. I scored a victory for all of us. Glow on Netflix. You know, I've been complaining and complaining and complaining about wrestling and pop culture, but finally, Netflix answered the call. So, you're welcome. All you owe me. Yeah. I've stated over and over again how much I hate wrestling being treated like it's real on TV. And behold, Glow breaks kayfabe and even goes over a few fundamentals like running the ropes, collar and elbow tie-ups, and even back bumps. So, once again, you're welcome. And in addition, I've been saying over and over again, why isn't it the 1980s? And yet again, Glow makes it happen. And they do so with a soundtrack that could even rival Guardians of the Galaxy. And just when I thought my Allison Brie withdrawal was growing too high, Allison Brie Baby Girl comes through with wrestling. We even got a return of Awesome Kong, plus a Johnny Nitro cameo, as well as a Funkasaurus sighting and a, uh, really, really roided out Carlito? Yeah, that ain't right, yeah. Is it just me, or does it look like his fro is also on supplements, too? Oh yeah, and by the way, Sony, take notes, because this is how you make a girl power project. Women as the stars, women as the directors, and not just some shameless attempt to virtue signal. So now you know, when people say they hate your Ghostbusters movie, it isn't because they're a bunch of sexist nerds, because it's the exact same nerds that supported Star Wars Episode 7, Rogue One, and now Glow. So, how do you like that? Huh, Alice and Brie, the 80s, wrestling, show is perfect. So perfect, in fact, that, well, cheaper pop culture really doesn't have a reason to exist anymore. Glow is that untouchable. I cured wrestling and pop culture. This show has finally reached its apex and no longer has a reason to continue. My work is complete. Although... Okay, maybe Glow's not completely flawless, because I did notice just, just one thing, you know, just one thing. All right, it's not a big deal, but you know that one scene where there are two girls dress up like clan members and they go against two black girls and the black girls defeat them and they get over? Well, that was a total ripoff of one episode of My Name is Earl. All right, the episode was named Blow, and yes, it was a parody of the original Glow, and right there, you can start to see the comparison. All right, in that episode, the character Joy secretly dressed up as the wrestler, the Clanimal, and the Clanimal's sole purpose was to get the main black female superstar over. And the main baby face in question was a patriotic character named Lady Liberty, and wait, hold on. The lead baby face in Glow was named Liberty Bell. Hmm. I guess that's no big deal. I mean, those are fairly obvious ideas, right? Anyway, the characters of Liberty and Joy... Uh, oh, I just got it. Liberty and Joy. Huh. Anyway, the characters Liberty and Joy actually had a real-life rivalry outside of the ring, therefore making their beef personal. Hmm. Now, Liberty wasn't expecting to wrestle Joy, so when Joy actually climbed into the ring as the Clannibal, the fight turned real, much to Liberty's surprise. Oh, wait, I guess that means that My Name is Earl already acknowledged that wrestling was fake before Glow did. Hmm. Alright, well, good for you, My Name is Earl. Sorry I neglected you until now. Oh, and that reminds me, just like Chris Jericho, My Name is Earl also had The List. Just saying, now that I think about it, since My Name is Earl is kind of a pioneer when it comes to wrestling. Oh, and now I'm also realizing one of the reasons why Joy and Liberty had beef is because one of them slept with a guy that the other one had. I guess that's just another happenstance? Right? Oh, and while I'm a huge Allison Brie fan, I have to admit, I really hated her character. I mean, how f***ed up is that? She slept with her best friend's husband when all her best friend ever did was be supportive and nurturing towards her? Man, that is really, really messed up. Alright, 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 but outside of that character choice, the rest of the storytelling was completely solid, right? Well, um, except for a few loose ends they forgot to tie up. Look, I know they're trying to pitch for season two and all, but still, there was just a little bit of sloppiness is all I noticed, I'm just saying. I mean, they could have given just a little bit of context between what happened with Debbie and her husband. I mean, there's no way she stayed with him, right? Right? Or what about Cherry and the acting gig she got? Is she gonna take the job or is she gonna stay with Glow? What's up with that? Oh, and how about how they brought up in the last episode how Arthur really hated being hated? Not even sure if they were setting anything up for next season, it just kind of seemed open-ended. You know, a wrestler hating being booed, that's a great concept, I wonder- Oh, wait a minute! Randy hated being booed and my name is Earl! Alright, alright, but outside of those minor details, Glow is great, and the rest of its plot is completely their own and totally original. And I- wait a minute. A female company whose lead star quits right before the big event, but she comes back just in time for the big finale, and then she still ends up losing anyway. And the people in charge of this company are a high society elite, a nerd, and a total drunk. Wait a minute. I just described a league of their own. 
That's right, Glow is just a ripoff of A League of Their Own and that one episode of My Name is Earl, which is a pretty good combination, but still, I think that's kind of sexist. What are you trying to say, that all female shows can only copy from one or two sources and there's only one or two types of plots we can possibly tell? Oh, 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 I got a bone to pick with you now. Well, you know what? It seems like cheaper pop culture is not done yet because the world of wrestling still has a lot of ground to cover in terms of media and pop culture. So, you know what? This show is still needed. You still need me and this show still needs to happen. That's right, and you know what? My name is Earl. I got your back, because it seems like you don't get the credit you deserve, and I'm going to make sure you do, because you were one of the best shows of all time. You didn't even get a proper finale. It is complete bullshit. So you know what? Cheaper pop culture ain't going nowhere. Join me next time when the topic of this show will be... Reasons why my name is Earl sucks. Son of a bitch.